Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well today uh, I just filmed this makeup look with Mama Mitchell's eyeshadow palette that is a collab with Beauty Bay. I'm going to put the code up here so you can see it but my hands are also stained because I did swatch all of the eyeshadows on my hands. I really want to film this video uh, because I have so much to do today and I feel like right now I do have some time so I want to do that. If you're interested to see my empties for these three, last two, three months then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is this Bursts and Bees Honey and Grape Seed Hand Cream that I both it, this one it was expensive i think it's around 18 dollars and the smell is so terrible it makes me want to puke every time i hate the smell but this is the a magic hand cream and why i say magic is because it goes into the skin very fast it moisturizes the hands uh, it l keeps them moisturized all day and i really really like to apply this at night i hate the smell but this is like vegan, this is vegan and almost 99% uh, natural ingredients in here. So this is a very good hand cream. Uh, I don't know. I want to kind of. I'm very curious to try more hand creams from Birds and Bees. I don't know if I'm going to purchase this one. Maybe I will. I hate the smell, but I really like how it really is beautiful uh, for the skin. So I'll see if I can find. Um, something that it's not honey and uh, grapeseed maybe something else that smells, smells better but I really like this and I do recommend it if you can stand the scent <laughs> I like it the next uh, cream it's Samba food fetish cream from uh, Sol de, Gene de Gene, I can't pronounce the brand but this is um, fast absorber non-slip cream for feet this is the best cream for feet that I've ever tried and I try a lot. Uh, this goes into the skin very fast, it leaves the uh, feet moisturized, it says smooths the dry feet, solo de Janeiro food board, yes you get this food feeler too that I don't usually use and um, you're supposed to massage this into the feet, this is so good. Easy on non-slip, non-mass formula, absorbed instantly for irresistible catch me kiss me feet and that's exactly what it does it makes the feet so soft nice looking uh, the skin looks beautiful the feet looked very nice <laughs> not too dry and i love this i'm definitely going to purchase a new one definitely this is my favorite especially now after the operation i have the scar that is very sensitive um it bothers me a, a little bit when i wear socks and this just makes everything around the score very soft and the score also very soft and nice. So I definitely like this cream right now. Definitely going to purchase immediately. Okay, then I have this, I tried Hello Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster and uh, I tried the Body and Brain Booster uh, for two months now. And I'm going to insert the pictures so you can see, I mean, uh, let's try the, ki let's talk about the kiwi. Now I have to say that my, I feel like my skin is more nice or healthier looking, especially my legs. I have very, very dry legs, very dry that my skin like flakes all the time. Ugh, it looks, it looks like a disaster when I take off my clothes, but this also made my dream, made my skin healthier and uh, not dry, as dry as it was so i do like the kiwi seed definitely going to kind of purchase it in the future right now i'm using the hello or start using the uh, booster for the hair because uh, i think i want to do like three months each so i need it not, need vitamins for my hair too because my hair is like a disaster body and brain now I don't know what to say. I can't say it did amazing things because I didn't see any real results. I mean, I still was as tired that I used to be. I still had a couple of, uh, like a cold. So uh, my immune system, I can't see that it's 
much better using this. Uh, I think you need to use this kind of uh, vitamins for at least four or five months before you see big results. I like using vitamins. I'm definitely going to continue using it. I can say the last week I tr remember and uh, uh, things faster and I'm much better t t uh, organizing things at work. So maybe it works, but I, I need to use it a little bit more to just tell you if it does major difference. Uh, Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray oil control i mean it's not a bad spray it was a good spray it i think it's overpriced definitely not going to purchase i mean i have some flies flying around it's annoying i won't purchase it again because i don't like the spray how it sprays the product i don't like it so i'm not going to buy it i mean i had other that are much better right now i'm trying out the um, uh, nip and fab Party proof fixing mist. Oh, I forgot to apply some. But this mister is much better. But it does have a scent, so. I also try the In Essence Instant Matte Makeup Setting Spray that I really think like. I think it's a little bit too harsh when you spray it on your face, but if you take it a little bit far away, it goes on good. I mean, I like it. I'll definitely purchase it again. I think it's a very good. I think it's better than this one, so that's my opinion. So, and the price is better. I also used up my Biotherm uh, Life Plankton Sensitive Bulb that I really like during the winter time, uh, and also I had much left of it during the summer. So I, I think this is good. I think I like prefer it during the winter then because it's a thick formula. Uh, very nice bomb. I can see myself purchasing uh, purchasing it again. I did purchase the full size because I got a sample size couple of my oh I think two years ago and I loved it. My skin loved it. And then I purchased the full size because of that sample and I did like it, I did enjoy it. I'm not going to purchase it right away because I have so many face creams that I need to go through but it's a good one, especially if you have sensitive skin and dry skin. I don't have dry skin but it worked for me too. Then I used up the um, another setting spray. This is a Revolution Sport Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. It's a good one. I like it. I think I, pro uh, I prefer the essence a little bit more than this one. But I, I would buy it if I was looking for an extra whole makeup fixing spray. I would buy it. It's not a bad one. It's not the best. It's cheap. It works. That's good. I also went through a new face gel primer, hydration leave-on formula when I use my new face um, products. Uh, I went through this one very fast and this is very expensive. So I bought another one the same size and I'm almost done with that one too. So I purchased a full, bigger size, they have a bigger packaging, that's so expensive, but I am i don't know if I want to research or after another gel primer that will make, that will do exactly the same thing as this one, so I do like to use real product for the new face, and because my skin loves this one, my skin really feels very moisturized and tight and beautiful, after the, using this product, so I'll definitely continue using this gel. I also went through the YSL um, All Hour Foundation. I like it. I can see myself purchasing because I like uh, purchasing it again. It's expensive. I don't. I think it's heavy packaging, so not, it's not and glass. It's not travel friendly. But I think it's a very good foundation, especially if you have oily combo skin. It's perfect for you, lasts all day. I really like it. So definitely can see myself purchasing it again. Not in a very long time because I have so many foundations to go through that I really like. So I like this one, but I think, yeah, I like it. It's not the best, but I like it. The foundation that I need to buy again, it's definitely in um, Filable L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is so beautiful on my skin. It may, gives me that nice, smooth, uh, healthy glow. I have oily T-zone. This doesn't make me look greasy, but it just gives me that nice, healthy glow. Lasts all day. This is one of the best foundations ever that I've tried. Definitely to, need to purchase again. This is in shade 200 Golden Sand. I think I need to change the shade. This doesn't suit me right now. Uh, it's empty though. 
So it looks like it, uh, it has more product, but it doesn't. I try to open it and kind of uh, take the last product in here. And it, yeah, it's empty, but I like it. I prefer this one more than this one. And this is also full coverage, full coverage. I forgot the word. I went through another Veal Hourglass Primer. I like it, love it. I right now use the jumbo size. And uh, I went through one of those a couple of months ago and I like, uh, I like it. I also used up this Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid Pro Big Size Soap. Uh, yeah, well, it looks nasty in here, but this one is expensive, but this one is the best soap for beauty blenders or sponges ever. So I'm definitely going to purchase it. I tried to purchase it, but it was sold out everywhere in Sweden. So I bought the smaller one, the white one. And it's also very good, but it's too expensive. This one contains like the five the smaller version of soap. So I think this is much better price. It's expensive. It's around over $40, but I think it lasts much longer. And this one is, I think, like five those small soaps that cost around $20. So the price is better. And this is this lasted me for I think six months, if not even seven months. So I do like this one definitely purchasing. And the last product is the foundation that I love and think everyone should try is this Isadora Active um, All Day Wear Makeup 24. This is around $14. And this is sweat and hum humidity proof, fragrance free, clinical tested. This suppose this is all day wear makeup for 20 hour, 24 hours. This is for all skin types. It's oil free, long lasting. It's one of the best foundation. Uh, this one, this shade 816 is a little bit too warm for me right now. So I mix this one with the new Urban Decay foundation. The best combo ever. The best, 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 best combo ever. I think I like, I want to buy the 16 again, just to kind of mix it with the Urban Decay knew that it's a little bit too light for me, but I think this is one of the best foundations, also must-haves. So guys, that was everything that I emptied right now. Of course, shampoos and everything else. I didn't include that in my uh, empties this month. I think this is more than enough. So if you like this video, don't forget to give, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, let me know down below what's your favorite product for this month. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.